All right, there's not much to say here about a question like this. Sometimes it is just about reading a graph, right? So they tell us a story. The story is completely irrelevant. Which of the following is closest to the predicted value of the sport utility vehicle three years after it was first purchased? So that just go, means go to three years after purchase on the x-axis, right? So here's that. Go up. Where does it hit the line? Well, somewhere between 10,000 and 15,000. And before you panic about rounding and making sure that you estimate correctly, just look at the choices, right? There's only one choice between 10,000 and 15,000. It is choice B, 13,632, and that is the answer. So very few people are gonna be watching this video because hopefully most of you by the time you're in 11th grade know how to read a graph. The only thing I'll say to kind of stretch this video out a little bit longer is the most common traps with these kinds of questions are that they give you the Y coordinate or the, the Y point and then ask for the X. And in this case, it'd be impossible to really confuse them, right? Because one, two, three, four, five are very different numbers than 5,000, 10,000, 15,000. But I have seen questions where that's exactly what they do, where the scale is basically the same and it's very easy to go to the wrong axis and then find the, the kind of opposite point in what you need. Um, other times they don't really label the X and Y axis and they leave it up to you to pull that off of the story uh, and then uh, use the uh, kind of like your reasoning about which one is the correct one. So uh, if they do do that, if the graph is not complete, then the story will tell you everything you need. It'll tell you the X, it'll tell you the Y. So don't panic. Uh, just look in that spot and you should be able to find the right answer.